guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my IMATS haul. IMATS was actually October 1st and 2nd here in Toronto. I went on them first and I picked up a bit of goodies. So if you're interested in seeing my haul, then just stay tuned. Okay, if you're not too familiar with IMAX, it's the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. So basically it happens, I think about six or seven cities around the world every year and vendors from basically AJ Crimson to the Z Palette uh, distribution center, they all come together at one convention center and they give you basically um, discounted items. They also do like classes and demos and things like that from certain artists worldwide. I, I know that there's a couple um, people like Jordan Liberty, he was there this year, AJ Crimson did a demo and there were some more other people that um, actually came on the Saturday and the Sunday and they do demos and Q&A's and things like that. So I really don't want to keep you guys that long so my bag is here and it has all of my things inside of it. Excuse my phone. So we're just going to start with the very first thing that's up on top and that is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. So I went and I got two glitters because I know that the glitters are cheaper there than Lit Cosmetics. So it's $6 a glitter. On the website, I believe it's $7 US or something like that. So with the conversion rate, you do actually get a pretty good deal. So the first glitter that I picked up was Tutti Fruity. And it's just this really nice mauvey pink color. I will do a close-up on it. The second color that I did I did pick up was Candy Cane. And again, this is like a more fuchsia magenta color. I will have close-ups on them. The next thing, well, the first thing that we actually did was go to Morphe. So I did only get three things. I've been dying to get the 35P palette. So that was the very first thing that was on my list. We actually rushed to the... Um, to the booth in one of the girls that we were with she actually like she broke her leg and she was wearing like a boot she actually got to the booth before all of us did so i was really thankful to meet her that day so yeah this is the 34p palette it's just purples and plum it's really pretty haven't swatched it yet or anything like that but sorry you guys that's what it looks like now Morphe did actually bring some of their concealers. I was really surprised because I wasn't in the lineup. People were in the lineup for me. But um, I did get two concealers and I did get Toffee Nut and the other one I got was like Frappe or whatever. So it's just a nice regular brown concealer that matches my skin tone. The other color that I picked up is a bit lighter uh, to highlight with. I picked up was Fudge. So actually this one is the darker one. So this one is my skin tone and then Toffee Nut is a bit lighter. So it acts as like the counter, like I have a three step system when it comes to concealing and correcting. So this would be to lighten one and then this would go on top to really bring that dimension to my face. So these two go together as my highlighters and this would go together as just a regular concealer to my face. I did use it. They do go on like really, really, really thick. So you don't need a lot of it. This booth I went to was Lime Crime and I got that really cute popcorn bag. Don't judge me for going to Lime Crime. I'm really over the whole scandal thing. Um, well, I was over the scandal thing until there was a new scandal. Thank goodness I didn't purchase the super foils. If you haven't heard about the super foils, basically what's happening is that her pans are like rusting and oozing and stuff like that. You can find it on Instagram. Just type in super foils, whatever. It'll pop up. Anyways, I got a Velveteen. I've wanted this since it came out. This is Lana. I'm wearing it on my lips today. So it is like a copper brown liquid lipstick it's really pretty but i did have to pair it with a deeper liquid lipstick just so it doesn't make my lips look flat and large i really wanted to bring dimension so i put this in the center of my lips so it really gives that pop we did happen to go by the blur booth and we stopped there for the face atelier foundation if you guys don't know this is my favorite foundation every single selfie on my instagram 
I'm pretty much using this foundation. It looks like skin. It's beautiful. For those who want to know my foundation color, I am the number 12 Sable. So it literally just looks like skin. It's a um, medium coverage, but if you double up, you get full coverage. I did not double up today. That's why you can see some of like my blemishes and stuff like that. But I like it the way that it just gives me that satin dewy finish and it's just a really lovely foundation. I love this stuff so much. I got to meet the owner of the company again and I told her that her foundation has changed my life. She has a customer for life. I did also go to Lady Moss because they were selling the Coco Lashes. I did pick up Queen Bee and I did pick up Coco. I'm really excited to try these. These were 10 bucks a piece or four for 32. I didn't need four. I just really wanted one of each. So um, I'm really happy that I got this. I also purchased an acrylic organizer for $15. For $15. This is the acrylic organizer for $15. And I really wish that I picked up more of these because they are so nice and sturdy and thick. And I'm probably going to buy some more just online. So I won't get the, the best deal of paying 15 bucks Canadian. But you know what? If I ship it to my aunt's house in the States, I'm pretty sure that I'll get free shipping. So it's a win-win. I suggest that if you do go to IMATS and Lady Moss is there, pick up their acrylic organizers because that was just one thing that I regret getting one of. I did also like jump in the line for Kat Von D because we heard that she was giving up free stuff in her line. So I got a liquid, everlasting liquid lipstick and this is in Nosferatu. Nosferatu. It's like that blood red. Um, when the girl gave it to me, I was like, give me something crazy. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to give you a red. And I was like, for real? But this is like a blood red. It dries down so nicely. So I'm really happy that she gave me this one. And then they gave us the tattoo liner, which I was just so hyped because I was like, great. Now, this is why I was in the lineup. But if you're going to give it to, for me for free, then, you know, I might as well just leave the line. I did also go to Esquito Lashes. I didn't buy any lashes from them because I did purchase two Coco Lashes. I just needed their lash glue. This is the Esquito Lashes Companion Long Lasting Bond. This shit is the bomb. The best liquid. Um eyelash glue that I've ever tried it comes with a wand the packaging is so luxurious like you guys I showed this last year in my IMAX um, haul but this stuff is bomb.com like look at that rose gold packaging the handle and everything it is so good and the glue lasts for 24 months it was 10 bucks it's gonna last you two years so why not Next, I went to Lit Cosmetics, and the reason why I went there is for the glitter adhesive. While we were in the lineup, this lady was talking about the Lit adhesive, and she said that you could get the little mini ones for five bucks. So I was like, girl, they were trying to sell me the um, eye candy liquid sugar for 20. So I was like, I could get three for 15, like for real. So I ran over there. And they actually have different types of glitter glue. So the first one I got was the Forever Wear Glitter Base. And this is for lips, brows, and body. And it's just like a little white one. It's kind of like liquid latex looking. But obviously it's not liquid latex. The second one I got was the Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And this one is water resistant. So basically if you're doing any underwater shots and you have glitter, like mermaid-esque, then this should keep the glitter at bay and then i just got the daily wear which is just your everyday like if you're going to do a glitter look or eyeliner or whatever it's this one so each of those was five dollars a piece also go to jordan cosmetics because one i needed liquid latex so this is a four ounce bottle and i believe it was eight bucks they were also giving away this free brush cleanser if you like them on Facebook and Instagram. So I moseyed on over for that. And I also got two brushes. The thing is about Jordan Cosmetics is that I had a list planned out for them. And every single brush that I wanted, they didn't have in stock. So we had to try and find things 
that were very similar or just as dense or anything like that but nothing really compared to the ones that I wanted so I just ended up getting two brushes and I'm going to try to use them for special effects I don't know why I got this one because it's a little thick it's just your basic liner pen pencil but or liner brush but it's really thick at the top and it just like frays out so I don't know what I'm gonna use for it unless if I do some type of pointillism or something like that but I'm not that creative the next one I got was a liner brush and it just has a spoolie uh, I just got it for the liner because the liner is pretty dense it would be great for eyebrows but I will be using it when I'm painting and I also went to Delium Tools and I got these two FX brushes. My friend, Andrew, he actually purchased them for me. So thanks, Andrew. It was really sweet of you to do that for me. So I got the 110 splatter brush, which is just, it looks like, looks like a little like toothbrush or something like that with six bucks I can't believe that their um, FX line is so cheap so if you're looking for like good brushes and you're on a budget definitely check out Delium Tools the definitely check out Delium Tools because like look at this I can't wait to just splatter some blood for Halloween And the next one that I picked up was the 191. I'm pretty sure I picked up the 184, but maybe me and my friend's brushes kind of just got mixed up because he did pay for it for me. So he picked up one brush and I think this one's his. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'm still going to use it. This one is the SFX Precision Stippling. And this is basically just designed for small areas such as the ears, nose, and eyes. Um, it looks pretty soft. This one was 7 bucks. getting stuck no I think that we picked up the exact same brushes cuz yeah this actually looks really neat though if you guys can see it so the very last place that we went to was Melanie Mills we went to go support our good friend that we met two years ago at IMAX who is now basically just doing like guest appearances at booths and stuff like that meet and greet if you don't know who she is, her name is Glamzilla on Instagram. So we went to go say hi to her and I actually wanted the Gleam on the Globe um, kit for a very long time because of the rose gold. So they had a special for 30 bucks. So it was like 10 bucks a piece. Why not? I went and I got it. I said hello. I went and congratulated my friend and you know, just got it. So it comes with three gleam body radiance um skin perfectors there was another kit that was the powders and i really just wanted the cream so i have rose gold bronze gold and deep gold so these are basically just for like your skin or highlighting your face and stuff like that they're basically just body luminizers and i've heard so many good things about it i've actually seen it in action and it's just, it's a magical product. So I cannot wait to use these. All right, guys. So that is my haul for you guys. If you did like it, please thumbs it up. Please share it with your friends and family. And I will see you all in another video. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do the follow-up video on the Stella White Teeth Whitening Strips that I said that I was going to do two weeks ago. I'm sorry.